In this interesting question, we have a right angle triangle and a circle. The circle is touching the triangle at two of the sides and its center is lying on the hypotenuse. The length of red line segment is 3 cm and the green line segment is 8 cm. Exciting part is with this limited information, we have to find radius of the circle which is given as an integer. Let's check the solution. Let's join this point O and F. As radius is perpendicular to the tangent, thus this angle is 90 degree. Let's join point O and G. Let's assume the center, the radius of the circle is R centimeter and thus OF will be R and OG will be R. Now here this angle, this will be 90 degree. The figure formed is a square and thus BG will be R centimeter, FB will be R centimeter. Let's assume AF is X centimeter, GC is Y centimeter. Let's assume this angle C here is alpha degree and thus this angle here, this will be 90 minus alpha. And this is 90 minus alpha, this is 90 and thus this remaining angle here, that will be alpha degree. Now if we look at the triangle AFO and triangle OGC, they are similar by angle-angle similarity and thus the ratio of corresponding sides will be equal or we can say that AF upon FO will be OG upon GC. Putting the values here, AF upon FO is X by R and OG by GC is R upon Y. Cross multiplying it will get X times Y is R square. Squaring both sides will get X square times Y square is R raised to power 4. Why we have squared it? That will be clear in few minutes. Now here let's apply tangent secant theorem. If we'll see from point A, AF is tangent and AD is secant. So applying tangent secant theorem, we'll get AF square is AE times AD. Putting the values here, AF is X, AE is 3 and AD, AD is 3 plus 2R. Same way applying tangent secant theorem from point C. So we get CG square is CD times CE. Putting the values, CG is Y, CD is 8 and CO, CO is 8 plus 2R. Now this equation, let's write it down here again. Now here replacing value of X square by this term and Y square by this term. So replacing this value, we'll get this equation formed in terms of R. Opening up the bracket and simplifying it, we'll get a bi-quadratic in terms of R. So uh, given is R is an integer and this integral root has to be a factor of constant term. So whatever is value of R, that's a factor of 576. Let's write down the factors of 576. So this will be in continuation. These are factors of 576, but R cannot be negative. So we'll try positive values of these factors in the equation and see which value is satisfying it. And upon trying it, we'll find that R is coming as 12 centimeter and that's our answer. I hope you enjoyed the solution. I will see you in next video. Till then, tata, bye bye.